What's up YouTube? Just got off work, got another video. So today we're looking at all the current mods I've done to this car. Um, we'll cover everything from exterior, interior, under the hood, and um, even my key fob, I guess miscellaneous. So we'll start with the exterior and go from there. So since we're at the front of the car, we'll go ahead and start with the second ever mod I did to this car. So I replaced the side markers that were originally amber in the front, red in the back, with the smoked out LED side markers from Dio Dynamics. These go for 160 bucks, but they are well worth it because they look slick on this car. Um, they set off the black accents really well. So since we're so close, we'll go ahead and see the most recent um, modification I actually made yesterday is I painted the bow ties in my center caps black to match the actual bow ties on the car and to set, help set off the stripes and the pinstripes. So I'm really happy with the way these turned out. You can see. So yeah, these turned out really nice. So let's take a trip to the back. You can see the bow tie on the side marker. So this is actually the first ever mod I made to this car. This is from American Authority. It's a vinyl strip that has my last name on it. So this is on the third brake light. So when you press the brakes, this lights up my last name in red letters. Really like the way this turned out. And like I said, this was my first ever mod, super simple mod. Again, it's just a vinyl strip that goes over your brake light. Um, I also put black screws in all four holes in my tag. So as far as external, that is all. Um, so now we can take a look on the inside. Pedal shifter extensions from Next Gen Speed. These came in silver and I color match painted them orange to the car. Um, I painted the black symbols on them as well. But um, really like the way these turned out. Once again, they are exactly color matched. And um, so now we have our warning label covers with the year 2019 to symbolize the year of the car. I can fold these out during car shows and it'll show the year of the car. Um, so yeah, these are from RPI Designs. It's the ghost option, um, black on black. And then finally for the interior, we have our door seals that I painted color matched as well, black with the color matched orange. Really like the way these turned out. Um, all the color match paint I got was from automotivetouchup.com. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost identical color. So, so now I guess we can look at uh, under the hood. So we have my black and color matched orange um, engine shroud that I did. This was the first paint project I did. It turned out really well. Got the bow tie painted to match the bow ties on the car. So yeah, really like the way that turned out. And then here, the fuse box. I pulled fuse 51, which is for the MPP exhaust. So, leaves your exhaust valves open, so your car is louder in tour mode, just like sports mode. So, well now, we can show the miscellaneous items. First miscellaneous items is my dice. They are actually almost color matched as well. I found these at a store in Mobile called Gamers and Geeks. Um, they were regular dice. I drilled the hole in them, and I put the thread through them, so something neat and for the finale we have the key fob color matched I changed the black one I painted and this is the key out of my second key and I put it in here so it'd be all silver matched and um, this turned out really nice so lock unlock start trunk and alarm actually spelled Lusta but any of my mods you see you can see them on my YouTube. So, thanks for watching YouTube. 
Um, plenty more videos to come. I'm hoping to get some side skirts in, uh, black gloss side skirts. I'm going to put those in, and I really want to match them with um, a splitter and a valance in the back, gloss black as well. So, all right, until next time, thanks for watching.